Hello, family. Sorry. Some confusion happened. I lost my connection. You can't explain. Just lost the connection. But listen to me. We're not going to allow anything to, to mess up what we were, you know, what the Lord was saying. Okay? Let's just give a couple more seconds and allow others to, to, to come on board. Okay? I can't, you know, I just can't get away from what the word of the Lord is teaching us and especially in the 21st century uh, the the new breed of, of, of preachers who are on a shortcut to success okay uh, they look at somebody in ministry who's been in ministry for 30-40 years and is only now being blessed Okay, they've hassled, they've they've worked hard, you know, they've they've served, they've persevered, and it's only now that you're seeing what the Lord is doing in their lives. And a young person will start ministry today and wants to be an overnight success. And so in the quest to do that, listen to me, there are 66 books in this Bible, and you need to at least familiarize yourself with all the books of the Bible. And you need to allow yourself to be educated by the Holy Ghost when it comes to his word. And he needs to take you to school, okay, to show you how to lead people if he brings you into that position. Because he never makes you a shepherd for you to abuse the sheep. He never makes you a shepherd for you to abuse the flock. That's why we see a proliferation of abuse because many people were just not having been processed. Some definitely haven't been called to lead. It is all, you see, it is only most of the time in the business environment, okay, that the CEO or the bosses or the managers sometimes abuse the workers. But it shouldn't be the same in the church because when you are called into a position of leadership, it is to guide, it is to lead. It is to, you know, show people the difference between what happens in the world and what takes place in the church. Listen to me. I can only tell you the truth. Whether you decide to heed it or not, that is entirely up to you. My first assignment is to, regardless of the weather, is to tell you the truth. That's what I'm saying. Is to tell you the truth. I'm not going to swear. I'm listening to me. I'm not. I will tell you the truth. There are people that have called out their names to let them know that. Listen to me. You need. Listen. I would rather you get upset with me. Stop talking to me, but make it to heaven, than you talk to me and you go to hell, because I couldn't tell you the truth. I've not done anything. I need to make sure that you understand what it is that you've been called to do, where it is that you've been called to be. I told you this before the, 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 the line cut off. You've got to understand that, very, listen to me, from the very beginning, notice that money doesn't exist there. Because if money was important, Genesis would have begun with money. But Genesis began with something that everybody is giving. And that is the ability, what is now, to use your mouth to speak. To use your mouth to make a declaration if you wake up and something is not in the right place the first thing you do is don't put your pastor's number on speed dial don't put your best friend's number on speed dial when you wake up in the morning the first thing you do is not to check Facebook it's not to check Instagram. It's not to check your email. It's not to check any social media app. The first thing you do when you wake up is you need to sit down on that bed. If you can, you can go down on your knees if you can and begin to talk to the Holy Spirit. And the things that you don't like, the things that you don't want to see, the things that you saw yesterday that defeated you, that made you feel uncomfortable. When you rise up today, guess what you do? You shape your day. You plot. You plan. You put schemes together. What is now? Listen, you need to make sure 
Because listen to this now, Jesus, and, and, and the Lord was taking me somewhere, you know, and, and just some confusion happened. And my internet was just taken away, you know, I don't know, you know. But, 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 but let me get back there. Jesus, because he says in the word, sacrifices and offering you didn't desire, but a body you have prepared for me. Lo, I come in the volume of the book, it is written of me. Okay, it is written of me, okay, to come and live a certain lifestyle on this place called earth at that particular time that Jesus was alive. Knowing that the Sanhedrin, knowing that the religious leaders of the day were not going to be in agreement with him because he was the embodiment of truth. So straight away he knew that he wasn't going to make no friends. So why this now? He wasn't concerned about likes on Facebook. He wasn't concerned about likes on Instagram. He wasn't concerned about any social media platform and the number of followers that he was going to have because he knew from his father that he was not going to make no friends because he was the carrier of the truth. Dr. Donna, so watch this now. Jesus didn't have no complex. He didn't have no complex. He studied under his father the role of a carpenter because what is now the ministry that he was going to go into it will require him to be very delicate it will require him to be able to put things together pictorially so he began to understood or he learned from a very young age which tool is required to do what And knowing that his assignment was specific, what is now, any time he spoke, he will speak his destiny. He will speak his destiny. He will say the son of man will be betrayed. He will say this was going to happen. They're going to kill me. But what is now on the third day, I'm going to get back up. See, he began to frame his world. He began to decree. I don't remember any time Jesus looked in his bank balance to see how much money he had or didn't have. What is now, he understood that any time he needed something all he had to do was to register his voice his voice had to be projected because he understood that his voice was far superior to any amount of money because in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth he spoke when he saw something that he didn't like he said hey get back in shape I don't want you here. You go to the north. Now you come to the south. You go to the east. You go to the west. Listen, you know, you this thing, you know, I don't want you to grow here. I want you to grow in this place. I don't want no vegetation on this part of the world. I want vegetation here. He began to proclaim and frame and shape because he understood that what this now, he was building himself a spiritual house. He understood the power that he possessed and he utilized it. He went jumping from Everybody out there, every wind of doctrine. He wasn't finding nobody's frame, you know, flame because he knew who he was. And he knew what his assignment was supposed to be. Because it's easy to gather followers who are dumb, don't say nothing, and just listen to one person talk. Listen to me. What happens with that is you are allowing somebody, if they are not called of God, what is now to build a house that God hasn't authorized you to build. If you're in Ghana, one thing that you will see, you see all over the place, there will be houses under construction, and then you will see some red ink, and the red ink will simply say, remove by AMA. Now in Accra, that means the Accra Metro Met Metropolitan Assembly. They are the ones who govern, you know, where places are built and who owns what land, whatever, whatever. So whenever there is a dispute and they turn up on the land and you're not able to provide them with the right documentation, they will put that red mark or they will write those red writings on your house and you have to report to them and you begin a long, you know, a uh, time of litigation to either try and clear whatever error. Now listen to me, if the person who was building didn't believe that that land that they were building on belonged to them, I don't think they would have gone further to build. It is a tragedy that you will live your life thinking that you are supposed to be a teacher in the schooling system 
when really you are being called to be a teacher in the house of God. It will be sad that you spend your life studying to become a doctor in the medical hospital when your real destiny is to be a doctor in the spiritual world. All because you allowed somebody to speak or to frame your house without you taking time to frame or to build or to bring out what is in your belly. You need to open up your mouths. You need to speak. You need to declare. You need to ask questions. You need to rise up and understand for this purpose, for this reason, for this assignment, for the sake of this generation. That is why you have been raised up. For the sake of these young people today, that is why you have been brought into this generation for such a time as this. Listen to me. Wherever there is going to be an Esther, there is going to be a Haman. Remember I said this. Wherever there is going to be an Esther, there has got to be a Haman. Wherever there's going to be a Joseph, there has got to be a Potiphar's wife. Wherever there's going to be a Moses, there has to be a Pharaoh who will resist the redemption and the salvation of the people of God. And so don't focus on the opposition, but focus on the assignment. 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 Don't give up your original position. Because let me tell you something. The vocabulary of the devil, what is now, is very similar to the vocabulary that we use. Because he uses the same words. All of these things fall down. Worship me. I will give you everything that you desire. And because we have turned the gospel, what is now, into the manifestation of materialistic things, it is very difficult to separate that which is of God and that which is of the devil. Because somebody testifying about them getting a house does not mean the house was given to them by the king of kings or the lord of lords. Because just in case you didn't know, according to the book of Matthew chapter 4 verse 9, the devil also gives houses. The devil also blesses with cars. The devil also blesses materially, financially, according to the book of Matthew chapter 4 verse 9. So if that is all your focus, if you've joined a prayer group, if you have joined an online ministry, if you have joined a church simply because of what you're seeing as they claim to be testimonies, what is now, I want you to mark the book of Matthew chapter 4 verse 9. Study it and see what is really taking place. But those who know their God, those who know their God, those who know their God, my God, those who know their God, because what is now, he talks about what is now, he said, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And, all, and then what is now, see, uh -huh. the, the, the previous verse in Matthew chapter 4 verse 9 gives you an accurate description 
okay, of what the, all of these things that Satan was referring to. Because he took, he took Jesus up to an exceedingly high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of this world and their glory. All the kingdoms and their glory. Not just the kingdom, but their glory. And he said to Jesus, all these things, what is now, has been given unto me. Question number one, who gave it to you? Who gave it to you? Who gave it to you? And so what is now, I am able to give it to whomever I want to give it to. But all you need to do, what is now, since you never lost your original position, Sister Cheryl, since you never lost your original position, prayer mantle, the only way you can have this uh, glory and this kingdom is you need to leave your position and come down, fall down first, and then worship me. Because in the position that you currently occupy, you can only worship the Father in spirit and in truth. But in order for me to get you out of that zone, I need you to come down. Come down to my level. Come down to where they've thrown me down to. Come down to where I've been repositioned. Come down to where it is now my origin, where, where, where it has become my address. Come down to my level and then worship me. Worship me. Worship me. Worship me. Worship me. Worship me. That is the place and the zone that prayer mantle. My heart is beating very fast because this scripture has just given me the understanding of what is happening across the board. Listen to me. Just because it sounds right doesn't mean it is coming from God. It doesn't mean it's coming from God. A lighting from a place. That is what the fall down, Sister Donna, Dr. Donna, that's what it means. When I check the original, a lighting from a place, that means that you are coming from one location and you're going to get off at the next location. Brothers and sisters, don't lose your focus. Don't lose your focus. You know me. You know me. I'm a very transparent young man. I tell you the truth like it is. That's why I don't have that many friends. Because when you come out, if you're messing around, I'll tell you. I'll tell you, get your act together. Because I don't want to see you fall apart. You know what I mean? Listen to me. You know, I know a lot of people who've done things, said so many things, you know, prayer by prayer mantle. Their names are still on our prayer wall. Guess what? I haven't erased no name from the prayer wall. I haven't taken up any name from the prayer When I pray, when I pray, I, you know, I don't say God only bless those who are still with us. I say God bless everybody. Those who, those who are still with us, those who've left, Father, whatever, whatever position they find themselves in, still bless them. Still bless them. Because listen to me, there are not many shepherds who care anymore. This new breed of, of preachers because of social media. They want to look like they've got it all together and they don't mind. They don't care how they get there. They don't care who they'll manipulate and lie to. They know that they're in town for about two, three days and they will collect all your money and leave and you will not see them again to the next year. By the time they come back again, they will have a new set of victims. By the time they come back again, some of you would have forgotten what they told you the year before. The lies, the, 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 the fake that they've been telling you, that they've been spewing into your spirit, that you're holding on to words which has no foundation in heaven. When you go to prayer, Sister Lashawn, when you go to prayer and you make your request, and you say to Jesus, just like that man of God said, I'm supposed to get married this year, heaven will look at each other and say, we never said that. I don't know, I don't know where that brother is getting that from, because we never said that. When, when, the, when the book of records is brought before God, uh, Brother Albert is praying and saying that God, the man of God told me I'm going to be a millionaire in, 20, in 2016. And that's true. Somebody did tell me that. Oh, the man of God said, God, people are going to bless me. People are going to give me so much. Father God, I will never lack. Oh God, you know, that's what the man of God said on this day. And then heaven, Sister Lashan, heaven will get the diary. Uh, according to what Albert is supposed to be. Okay. I don't know why Albert is praying this prayer. Because I didn't send no messenger to go and tell Albert that he's going to be a millionaire. 
I, I, you know, I, how do you say that? So God will look at the angel and say, who, 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 who told Albert that? Who gave Albert that impression? I'll be serious. Who told Albert that he's going to be, uh, uh, you know, who told Sister So-and-so that she was going to be married in 2015? I never said that. I never said that. I don't, I, I, I don't know where, I don't know where she got that from. Then you spend your entire time, some of you will fast. Some of you will do all kinds of stuff. Some of you will pour salt over your head. Some of you will stand in salt. Some of you will stand in all kinds of oil and pray. Sister Jackie. And heaven will say, uh, uh, I don't know, because listen to me. See, see, because it's not that God is against you getting married, but God said, no, there are some things that I need to fix in your life. There are some things that need to be put right in your life. We, some of us have attitudes that the Holy Ghost just wants to deal with. Some of us, listen to me, you know, when you get angry, you pick up the knives, you know, you pick up, you know, some stuff, you know, you throw some stuff, you throw the plate. So the Holy Ghost just wants to deal with that because if you're not careful and you find yourself in that marriage, the next day you're going to wake up in prison because that man might just get on your nerves, you know, that sister might just say something that you will not like. And the next thing you know, you will lift your hand, but it's not to God. But is to register in the face of that sister or that brother. So the Holy Ghost, knowing you, knowing every part of you, say, uh -uh, we need to get this part of sister so and so and brother so and so right. But you see, they won't tell you that because they need your money. See, when I say that to you now, you're going to get upset. When I say that to you now, you will say that ain't from God because you want me to tell you that tomorrow you're going to leave your house. You're going to walk through a, a, a Walmart and the man will approach you and tell you, sister, you're the one that God told me about. We're going to get married today. That's what you want me to tell you. You know, when I tell you that, I say, based upon that, the Lord said, give a thousand dollars. And you jump and scream. And guess what? You go and take that money and bring it. I will take that money. I will depart. You will never see me again. And now, listen, after that, you will call every preacher a false prophet. But you don't want to hear the truth. Don't want to hear the truth. You don't want to hear the truth. Build you a spiritual house. Build you a spiritual house. Be prayerful. Be strong. Be steadfast. Have faith in God. Have wisdom. Pray the word. Believe in Jesus. You want it fast. You want it fast. You want it fast. You want it Eastern. Are you still with me? Are you still with me? Why, why are you quiet on me? Are you angry with me? Are you angry with me? My God, in the name of Jesus, let's pray. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, today is going to be a blessed day. Father, in the name of Jesus, today is going to be a wonderful day. Today is going to be an awesome day. Today is going to be a magnificent day. We bless the name of the Lord. We magnify the name of Jehovah. We exalt the name of Jehovah. Let the name of the Lord be exalted. Let every demonic assignment be canceled. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lion of Judah, we worship you. Lion of Judah, we call upon you right now. We ask you, Father God, to lead us and to show us the way. Prosper us, bless us, favor us in the name of Jesus and remove every dangerous demonic assignment from our path. Bless us, favor us in the name of Yeshua the Christ, the Son of the living God. Father, cleanse every unrighteous spirit and unrighteous act out of our bodies and out of our, our spirits, God. Let us be clean before you. Let us be clean. Let us be presentable before you. Let us be presentable before you in the name of Jesus. Palabasia, biso kaba zivi, valis kobasia, lebro sibidaba sukaba, ve kodaba sibidi biosha, zebro sibi kabasia, van de bosa, bilibi sibidi biosha, in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you, God. We thank you, God. We thank you, Holy One of Israel. We thank you, Holy One of Israel. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. I'm done, okay? I'm done. Let me get out of your way before I get more people upset. God bless you. You're blessed. You're highly favored. I don't know if my internet is still messing around. I believe it is. But I'm just going to end here. If you catch the replay... God is with us. We are blessed and highly favored. I will see you tonight on the prayer line. 
in Jesus' name.